Hey guys, today we're going to be showing a fun braided hairstyle on our mannequin. I'm going to start by grabbing a section of hair on each side. And now I'm going to take this hair and tie it into a half of a knot. So I'm just crossing one strand over the other and knotting it like that. And then you'll want to pull it fairly tight. And then I'm just going to place a little clip right here while I'm working so that it doesn't loosen up. I'm going to start with one strand at a time and I'm just going to split this into three and start a braid. Now that I have that braid started, here on this inside strand I'm going to be removing a small piece every time before I cross that over. So I'm just taking a piece out, I'm crossing it over and I'm just going to leave this to the side for now. I'm going to do that five times on this side. And then on this side on the right I'm going to be adding strands in. In the beginning, I'm not going to go clear to the front of her head. I'm going to start grabbing these strands just right here underneath this piece. So now that I'm on the inside of that braid again, I'm going to remove another strand. And then I'm adding again to this side. And as I work my way down, I'm going to go further out until I reach the front of her face. removed these five strands from this side and I've gone all the way to the front of her face on this side. I'm just going to continue this braid normally without taking out any strands and without bringing any in. Now we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. I'm going to start the braid and I'm going to remove five strands from the inside of the braid and then bring in hair from the outside of the braid. Now that I have all of this braiding done, I can go ahead and remove this clip and it should stay in place. So at this point, I'm going to bring all of the strands on this side of this little knot through this braid on this side. So I'm just going to kind of ignore these for now. I'm going to clip them out of the way so that they don't get buried. I'm going to start with this strand that's closest to the center of her head and I'm just going to bring it right across diagonally and I'm going to pull it through this braid. If you have a topsy tail, you can use that or if not, just use your fingers, it's just as easy. I'm just going to pull apart this inside strand, stick my two fingers up through there and then pull it right through. If you're working on human hair, I would suggest adding some pomade, gel, some kind of product to these strands before you do this. And then we're just going to work our way across. So I'm grabbing the next strand over and it's just going to come down in the next piece. Okay, now that we have all the strands from this side woven through this braid, we're going to do the exact same thing with these, but we're going to weave them through the strands that are already there before we pull them through this braid. If you're working on a human head, you can just have whoever you're working on hold these strands for you tight. Since this mannequin doesn't have arms, I'm going to have my daughter hold these out for me. And that will just help to not mess these up as you're doing the weaving. So again, I'm going to start with the strand that's closest to the center. And I'm just going to go ahead and weave these through the top of these strands here. So I'm going to go over the first one, under the second one, and just continue that pattern until I've woven it all the way through. As you're pulling these strands through this braid on the other side, you want to make sure that you're getting it even over here. And then you'll just want to go opposite from the strand that you did before. So this one I started with going over, I'm going to start by going under instead. This hairstyle is pretty much done and depending on the texture of hair you're working with, this is either going to stay really nicely or it's just going to pull right out and make a mess. So if you have more of thin, silky hair that you're working with, I would suggest taking each of these little pieces and just adding a small rubber band kind of underneath the braid and that's going to keep these all in place and it will also help them to stick out a little bit so that it doesn't just blend in with the rest of the hair and you can kind of see the feathered strands. So you could just do that on each side. If your hair is thicker and more textured, it should just stay just like this. 
But that is the finished hairstyle. We hope to see you guys next Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and give us a thumbs up if you like this hairstyle.